everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm outside working on the root cellar. Uh, the plumbers are still working on the inside, though not today, today's a weekend, but I'm, as a courtesy to them, staying out of that structure so they don't have to feel like there's any chance of cross-contamination of coronavirus, and also for myself, you know, I don't know if they might be carriers, so I, you know, I prefer not to be working in a respirator and gloves myself also. So this is pretty low priority in terms of moving in. This does not have to be done before we move in. But uh, related to what's going on with coronavirus and grocery stores and things like that, I would love to be able to uh, hold more food, like if there's extra bags of potatoes that I can pick up, onions and things of that nature. There's only so much room in my refrigerator, back at the temporary place. The basement at the other place uh, really doesn't work very well as a root cellar or a storage place because whenever you run the wood stove, the first place to heat up is the basement. So it's just, it's a really bad pantry. And I was thinking that if I could get this operational then I could use this as a pantry so while it really doesn't have anything to do with moving in there I can't work inside because of the plumbers I can't work on the shed because of my lumber getting destroyed in whatever car accident or whatever happened uh, and this is something that can actually serve me and I'm gonna eventually do it but it just doesn't have anything to do with moving in there uh, what I've got going on is I've got a frame of pressure treated wood. I was able to use up the last of the pressure treated wood that I had as scrap from this structure. Uh, I used the ramp set to uh, fire the nails with those little 22 caliber rounds into the concrete, uh, paying attention to stay away from the edges. You don't want to be within three inches of the edge because you could kind of blow the edge out. Um, so I got, I got that up and then I got these vertical boards on here to act as kind of like the edges of the door. This is where the, the hinge is going to mount. And what I'm working on right now is the frame of the door itself. Now I'm building it right in place because while this door should technically be a perfect rectangle, for, uh, 44 and a half inches by 59 and a half inches, you, know, you never know if it's a little trapezoidal or whatever. So what I'm doing is I'm attaching the frame of the door in place, putting these corner braces on it. Then I'm going to be able to take the entire thing off, bring it up over to uh, the, the deck of the shed where it's a nice workspace flip it over, transfer the braces to the other side, flip it over again, and then I can put sheathing boards all over the front of the thing. Uh, so in that way that I'm making it exactly to the shape that it needs to be right here. What I'm gonna be doing is just doing some three quarter inch boards on the front. I've got some nice rough, uh, kind of rustic looking ones. I think I'm gonna use up for that. They were extra strapping from the house, you know, these six inch wide boards. And uh, I, I think probably on the inside, I'll put some insulation because the idea is you wanna keep the heat from here from going in there, so I might put a layer of insulation on the inside surface of it. But uh, yeah, uh, the one other, one other issue that I have to deal with right here is that uh, based on the uh, way that this rock could be put down in a safe way, it couldn't come out this way anymore. Uh, so this corner of the structure is exposed, and when rain uh, hits the rock, it kind of comes down and then slides down the side of this wall here. So I've got to get some flashing up and under here It'll kind of wrap around this area so that uh, you know the rain will shed over the door instead of behind the door. Uh, that's something I, I've got to figure out later on. But at the moment, if I can just get a door on there, you know, I can get a little wet in a few wet rainstorms. As long as I fix it up later, it'll be, it'll be uh, fine, and I'll have a functional root cellar in there. That's it. Thanks for watching.